Hi, my name is Leah Morgan and this talk is the use of high-resolution QSM to identify global patterns in the ex vivo human brain cortex at 7T. Quantitative susceptibility mapping has been shown to reflect varying iron and myelin content within human brain tissue, particularly with respect to cortical laminar architecture. Subtle magnetic susceptibility variations within the tissue accrue to the MRI phase and can be quantified by QSM methods through deconvolving the phase signal. In vivo studies have reported observing susceptibility changes along the cortical ribbon, but are limited in resolution due to constraints on acquisition time. In this study, we first estimate QSM in an ex vivo human brain hemisphere at 500 micron resolution and present the global patterns we observe. Next, we increase the resolution to 150 micron isotropic, a scale which allows infra and supergranular layers to become visible and present a preliminary QSM map estimated in this SNR starved setting. Here we are interested in analyzing if these patterns change with resolution and evaluate if the current methods can survive at low SNR. We collected ex vivo MRI data on a whole human hemisphere using a magnetome 7T scanner and a custom 32 channel ex vivo coil. We acquired a 500 micron multi echo GRE scan with the following parameters and a 150 micron isotropic multi echo GRE for the same hemisphere. We performed phase combination with the presented methods and calculated QSM for both data sets from the phase using the nonlinear dipole inversion approach. To validate that the susceptibility we observe is from iron, we blocked an area from the prefrontal cortex and stained 4 micron thick slices for ferric iron using a dab enhanced pearl stain with improved sensitivity. Here we show the first echo magnitude of the 500 micron MRI data alongside the QSM results displayed as a heat map. We observe consistent patterns of positive susceptibility along the cortical ribbon, suggesting potential iron concentration. This finding is consistent with earlier ex vivo studies on blocked samples, validating the presence of iron at gray-white boundaries in the areas we cite here. We chose to validate our findings in another region than previous studies, that is the prefrontal cortex. Here we show the MRI data, QSM, iron-stained histology, and tissue block for that region. Areas of positive susceptibility in red are well correlated with iron stains in brown particularly in the areas where black arrowheads indicate. This slide shows the results of QSM at 150 micron for the same hemisphere. Data is presented with the RMS image calculated across all four echoes of the 150 micron MRI data to the left, and the QSM calculation overlaid as a heat map on the right. Again, we see consistent patterns of positive susceptibility, indicated in red, along the folds of cortex, close to the gray-white boundary. This is synergistic with the 500 micron result, despite the low SNR setting. The same pattern is visible in the tissue phase map of the axial slice. In the tissue phase, it also becomes clear that changes in phase are of the order of 150 to 300 microns, further strengthening the need for such high-resolution analysis of QSM using ex vivo MRI. This slice shows two sagittal slices of the magnitude image with a QSM map thresholded at 0.3. When we threshold the QSM, we observe expected areas of high susceptibility, such as in the visual cortex and midfrontal regions. We also see a localized region in the frontal lobe, which passes the threshold and follows the anatomy. Future directions will include performing surface-based analysis on multiple human brain specimens to validate the consistency of the QSM maps across the cortex, particularly within the frontal lobe, and to improve the SNR of the 150 micron result. In this work, we presented some preliminary results to demonstrate that QSM of the ex vivo human brain at high resolution can give global insight into the microstructure that's not possible with blocked ex vivo tissue or low resolution in vivo MRI. QSM at 500 micron resolution showed positive susceptibility values across the cortex that we were able to validate as being correlated to iron in the prefrontal cortex. We also demonstrated that phase and QSM at 150 micron were consistent with the 500 micron result.
Thank you so much for listening to my talk.